The story of Shropshire's Robin Hood. From 1491 to 1518, Wild Humphrey Kiniston supposedly lived a life that would match the fictional character Robin Hood. His cave still exists and can be visited in Nescliffe Hill Country Park, nine miles northwest of Shrewsbury. It seems he had a reputation for robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. In return, the locals protected him and gave him and his horse, Beelzebub, food. The cave is in the woods above the original A5 which went through Nescliffe village here. The road was built by the Romans as the route from London to Holyhead and Ireland, and has always been an important highway, once, in an attempt to capture him. The local sheriff removed several planks from the Montford Bridge to keep him from crossing the River Severn, but, his horse managed to leap and safely clear the distance. It is also said that he was a regular patron at the old Three Pigeons Tavern in Nescliffe Village. They say his original seat is still there. On the 20th of December 1491, Kiniston was found guilty for the murder of John Hughes at Stretton and declared an outlaw by Henry VII. Sometime after that, he moved from Middle Castle to a cave in Nescliffe Rock. The cave has only two rooms. He lived in one and stabled Beelzebub in the other. Some sources say the reason he moved to the cave was to hide and avoid being caught. And others claim that he was outlawed due to debts. He may have been pardoned by Henry VII in 1493. But some say that in 1513, Humphrey provided 100 men to aid Henry VIII in France and in return received a royal pardon three to five years later, if it wasn't for his outrageous lifestyle. You would not expect him to have been short of money. He was the youngest son of Sir Roger Kiniston, High Sheriff of Shropshire, and he inherited Middle Castle from his father, but allowed the estate to fall into disrepair and only a part of the wall, and some rubble, remain, while the year of his death is well known. How he died and where, are disputed. Did he live for the rest of his days comfortably, with his wife, near Welshville, or, did he die poor, from ill health in that tiny damp cave? Source, Wikipedia. If you enjoyed this video, Please like. The story of Shropshire's Robin Hood. From 1491 to 1518, Wild Humphrey Kiniston supposedly lived a life that would match the fictional character Robin Hood. His cave still exists and can be visited in Nescliffe Hill Country Park.